What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we do have some market talk. We have some new packs, the new buzzer beater packs. Before we get into the video, make sure to smash that sub button because, man, we're so close to 10K, man. We gained all over 100 subs yesterday. Let's keep it going, man, because honestly, we're literally on fire. And please smash the sub, the like button because, bro, because, bro, straight up. Like, without the support of you guys, I would not be here. Your support has been insane. Let's keep it going. I'm selling MT on Twitter if you want. Um, also, follow the Twitter because we do MT giveaways once we hit 10K. Mitch Richmond, man. One of my favorite cards every year in 2K is in the game. He is absolutely insane. I'm probably going to rip some packs and then talk about the market, what you should be doing to make MT. But, yo, Mitch Richmond is so damn good, man. Mitch Richmond, if you guys don't remember 2K13... You can literally fade out of bounds with the dude. He's literally so OP. Fading out of bounds, three-point shots, perimeter defense. He's so good. His jump shot's probably money. I haven't even used him in years, bro. I haven't touched Mitch Richmond in years. I haven't really... Whew, let's see. Let's see. If we pull Mitch Richmond, man, just know that I'm freaking out. I'm probably going to pull about eight packs, and we're going to get into some market. But yeah, there was no auction house glitch yesterday again. So that's actually something you guys want to pay attention to. No auction house glitch. It's a new day. I'm freaking shocked that there was no auction house glitch. We're searching for our third or fourth, fourth opal pull, or maybe fifth opal pull of the year. Um, probably gonna pull about eight of these, like I said, but yeah. So if you guys don't know, auction house is a little different. Auction house is weird as hell. I'm telling you, bro, they're going to strike. Get ready. When they strike, they are going to destroy us, bro. When the MT bots strike, they're going to strike so hard and destroy our career. Straight up, get ready for it. It's going to be bad. It is going to be really, really bad. Get ready for it. We got a diamond. I think it's Dennis Scott. I will gladly take a Dennis Scott. If it's Dennis Scott, I'll be hype. Is it Dennis Scott? Oh, who's this? That's not Dennis Scott. Is this Curry, bro? Are you serious right now? This game is so bad. All right, I'm actually hopping off this filter now because... I'm, I'm hopping off these packs. This is disgusting. Like, literally disgusting. And why is my green screen got a bug out, dude? All right, yeah. So, like, let's get away from that garbage. Those garbage packs. I'm not even popping more. Um, my limit, dude, it, it's so bad. Like, the pack odds in this game. Woo, if you're not pulling anything within the first five, it's not going to go your way. Unless you're pulling boxes, it's different. But, uh, yeah. All right, let's get into the market, man. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's make MT. Let's go. So... Some things I want to talk about, man. The market is so, so, so high right now. Like, literally, just sell your team. Just sell your team. If you sell your team, you're going to make mad MT. Simple. It's literally the most simple process. Throw up your team. The only problem is, bro, like I said, the auction house glitch. Now, I would love for you guys to put your cards up right now because you make so much MT. But, mm, like... I don't know, dude. It's so risky at this point in the game. There hasn't been an auction house glitch in two days now. And honestly, I feel like it might go on to its third. We're going to see. We are going to see what's going on with that. But honestly, I'm confused. I don't know what's going to come down. I'm honestly completely terrified for you guys. So if I were you guys, I would not throw up any cards. Like, I don't know. It's up to you. Completely up to you. I think it'll crash. All I'm saying is, man, the market's freaking inflated as hell. The market is so inflated. And if you really look at these cards, like, this, these cards are so expensive right now. If you have all these cards, you have Simmons, KD, Yao. These cards are so inflated. They're not that good. Like, literally, I'm telling you right now, Dino Raja with the Evo, whoever is Evo 2, I don't even know who he's Evo 2. I mean, not Evo, Dynamic Duo 2. Whoever he's Dynamic Duo 2, he is going to be so goaded. Like, straight up, bro. We have a Galaxy Opal Dino Raja in the game. He's OP. Um, whatever the other duos are, man, if you guys have any of those duos, you want to make MT, sell them. I don't know exactly. I think Wilt and Magic have one or something like that. Um, I think Pink Diamond Magic has one, and now he's over 100,000 MT. Even though, why would you do that when you buy the Opal? I don't know, but 
He is a pretty good card. I don't know why it doesn't show the Opals anywhere. I mean, the Evos. Why I keep saying Evos, bro? The Dynamic Duos. But that's another way to make MT, man. If you have any of these Dynamic Duos in your collection, you can make a thousand thousand of MT. <coughs> it's just you could take a risk by selling them now. Like I said, bro, super scary this stage of my team, man. You could sell anything and you it could just go poof and you could lose out on hundreds of thousands of MT. Um, that's how I got my shack, man. Got my got my shack for the low, and it was actually the best feeling ever. But yeah, so right now, man, uh, what you should be doing, obviously my MT's up there. I literally have not played online in so long because it's so toxic. I have literally stayed away from the game for who knows how long. So I would definitely recommend staying away from it. Um, like I literally probably gonna sell my cars, but if the auction house does crash today, does glitch, I would recommend you guys try to hop on those bids between an hour and two hours. And then you try selling your cards after the market inflation. But yo, some snipe filters I'm going to show you right now. This snipe filter is going to be so money and investment wise so money because Dennis Scott is one of the best shooters ever. He's always a good shooter every time they drop a card of him. So we're going to go over these stats. And honestly, this is one card I want to pay attention to sniping wise because this card is incredible. Here it is, man. Dennis Scott 95. This card is incredible. How does he only have an 89 offense? This guy right here, man. Three-point shot, 97. He has all the badges, bro. He has 25 hauls. 25 hauls, bro. Hall of Fame catch and shoot. Hall of Fame this. Hall of Fame that. Hall of Fame range. Hall of Fame quick draw. Dude, this card. Hall of Fame clamps. This is a 95 overall card, dude. This card is the GOAT. Um, This is definitely one of the dudes you want to pay attention to sniping. Because if you guys remember my videos, bro, when Tony Kukoc came out, when all these dudes came out and all that good stuff... I was always sniping these cards, man. Like, look at that. Look at all those snipes. It's not really a snipe, but you understand the gist. These cards are going to pop up so much. You're going to make a lot of MT. It's simple, man. Dennis Scott, the GOAT. Um, always good in 2K, man. If you use the old school magic, you get Dennis Scott off the bench. He's balling out every single time. But, yeah, man. This card right here, Snipe Method. They also dropped the Sam Cassell if you want to snipe. It's lo I love the lower tiers, man. And also, if you snipe them... You're most likely not going to lose out on the MT glitch. I mean, you could. It's possible, but you won't lose a lot, a lot. So you could throw them up right away. Since they are buyouts and they're not opals, you could literally sell them off right away as long as you put them up for a decent price, lower than everybody if you do snipe them. But yeah, man, this Sam Cassell is really good. He is only 6'3". That is the problem. So yeah, um, I'm trying to think. So we got those two snipe filters, those new two snipe filters. We got selling your cards after the market glitch. If the market doesn't glitch by 8 o'clock Eastern, I would recommend selling your cards off. Anyways, market is super inflated. Like, super, super inflated. So, I would definitely recommend... I don't know how you guys want to do it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's just super inflated, and there's probably some fire content dropping on Friday. Creating a market crash. All I know, man, these Opals... Also, bro, before I do want to end this, um, if you guys were looking at investments, Coutinho Mobley, he actually did not go up yet. Um, what I think he's gonna go up, he went up like 200 MT. He didn't really go up that much. I think he should go up, but honestly, right now, man, right now, I'm sitting here. These packs are not gonna draw any attention to the market at all. Like, literally, these, ugh, they're so bad. Mitch Richards, cool. Rodman, like, dude, let's be real. If you're gonna draw four cards and they're subpar, like, Kevin Love's cool. Um,. All I'm saying is it's like, they're not really hype beast cards. Like, they're pretty good. I'm not going to say they're bad. It's just, you're going to drop four cards. No one's really going to pop these packs because the odds are just, the odds are terrible. Oh, they're just so bad. Like, if you think about it, bro, the odds on these are just terrible. Just stay away from them straight up. Don't, don't pop these, bro. It's like 500k for Magic Johnson. They're so inflated, bro. I don't know what's going on. Prices are up. I really am about to sell Giannis. I'm about to sell Sack and just get my millions and millions of MT and just sit down because honestly, bro, with the market looking like this and inflating and all, I, it's crazy. I literally want to sell every single one of my cards, but now there's no auction house glitch. Now the market's back to normal and it's so interesting. But yeah, honestly, guys, that's all we got for the video. Like straight up, I'm honestly confused myself right now what I should be doing. Um, Straight up. To make MT right now, try those two snipe filters, try Ami filter, try diamond filter, and literally like, ah, just stay away from those buzzer beater packs because they're so, 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 so doo doo. So, uh, yeah, I will gladly let you guys know what's going on. You can hit me up in the comments if you want to sell, if you want to do whatever. But yeah, that's all we got for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a go up. Peace.